The United States has the world's longest railway network followed by China and India. Here in this video you will find top 10 largest railway networks. The US rail network with an operating route length over 250,000 kilometers is the biggest in the world. Its freight lines constitute about 80% of the country's total rail network, while the total passenger network spans about 35,000 kilometers. The US freight rail network consists of 538 railroads operated by private organizations. Union Pacific Railroad and BNSF Railway are among the largest freight railroad networks in the world. The National Passenger Rail Network Amtrak comprises of more than 30 train routes connecting 500 destinations across 46 American states. A plan is in place to build a 27,000 km national high-speed rail system in four phases by 2030. China's rail network, with a route length of over 100,000 km, ranks as the second biggest rail network in the world. The extensive network, operated by state-owned China Railway Corporation, carried 2.08 billion passengers, the second highest after Indian Railways, and 3.22 billion tons of freight, the second highest after the US Railway Network, in 2013. Rail is the principal mode of transport in China. The country's rail network consists of over 90,000 km of conventional rail routes and approximately 10,000 km of high-speed lines. The total rail network of the country is targeted to exceed 270,000 km by 2050. The 2,298 km Beijing Guangzhou High Speed Line is the world's longest high speed railway line. The total length of China's high speed rail network is projected to reach 50,000 km by 2020. Russia's whole network, operated by state-owned monopoly Russian Railways RZD, runs for over 85,500 km. In 2013, the network carried 1.08 billion passengers and 1.2 billion tons of freight, the third highest freight volume after the US and China. The Trans-Siberian Railway, the Moscow-Vladivostok line, spanning a length of 9,289 km, is the longest and one of the busiest railway lines in the world. RZD introduced the Sapsan high-speed rail service between St. Petersburg and Moscow in 2009, but it has not proved successful due to sharing existing lines with low-speed train operations. A dedicated high-speed corridor between the two cities has been planned with a proposed investment of $35 billion. The Indian Nationwide Rail Network, the fourth longest in the world, is owned and operated by Indian Railways and includes an operating route length of more than 65,000 km. The network carried about 8 billion passengers, the highest in the world, and 1.01 million tons of freight, fourth highest in the world, in 2013. The Indian Railway Network is divided into 17 zones and operates more than 19,000 trains per day, including 12,000 passenger trains and 7,000 freight trains. The National Railway Operator plans to add 4,000 km of new lines by 2017 as well as significant gauge conversion, doubling and electrification of its existing aging lines. It also plans to add 3,338 km of exclusive freight network by 2017 with the implementation of eastern and western dedicated freight corridors in India. Six high-speed corridors have also been identified for implementation in the country. The 534 km Mumbai Ahmedabad high speed link is being advanced as a pilot project with an estimated investment of $9.65 billion. Canada's 48,000 km of rail lines makes its national network the fifth longest in the world. Canadian National Railway CN, and Canadian Pacific Railway CPR, are the two major freight rail networks operating in the country, while Wire Rail operates the 12,500 km intercity passenger rail service. Algoma Central Railway and Ontario Northland Railway are among the other smaller railways providing passenger services to certain rural areas in the country. Three Canadian cities, Montreal, Toronto and Vancouver, have extensive commuter train systems. In addition, the Rocky Mountaineer and Royal Canadian Pacific offer luxury rail tours to view the scenic beauty of certain mountainous areas in the country. Canada, however, does not have a single high-speed line on its railway network. 
state-owned Deutsche Bahn dominates Germany's 41,000 km railway network, accounting for about 80% of the total freight traffic and 99% of the long-distance passenger traffic. More than 150 private railway companies apart from Deutsche Bahn operate on the network, providing regional passenger and freight services. The S-Bahn serves major suburban areas, while the Hamburg-Cologne Express HKX, is the major long-distance passenger operator after Deutsche Bahn. The German railway network had more than 1,300 km of high-speed railway track operational as of mid-2013 and more than 400 km of new high-speed line under construction. Deutsche Bahn opened high-speed services, under the name Intercity Express ICE, for the first time in 1991. The high-speed network, operated at speeds up to 320 km per hour, now connects major German cities and neighboring countries such as France, Switzerland, Belgium, the Netherlands and Austria. The Australian railway network is the world's seventh longest at more than 40,000 km. Most of the railway network infrastructure is owned and maintained by the Australian government either at the federal or state level. The majority of the trains on the network are, however, operated by private companies. Original, Genesee and Wyoming Australia, and Pacific National are among the major freight operators on the network. Great Southern Railway, NSW Trainlink and Queensland Rail are the leading long-distance passenger rail operators. Metro Trains Melbourne, Sydney Trains, V, Line and Adelaide Metro operate commuter passenger services in major suburban areas. In addition, a number of private mining railways operate in the country. The Australian railway network does not have a high-speed line yet. A high-speed rail network connecting Brisbane, Sydney, Canberra and Melbourne is proposed to be built with an estimated capital cost of $114 billion, but the first phase of the 1,748 km high-speed network will not be realized before 2035. Argentina's current rail network spanning over 36,000 km in length ranks the eighth largest in the world. Argentina used to have about 47,000 km of rail network at the end of the Second World War, mostly operated by British and French-owned railway companies. The railway companies operating on the network were nationalized in 1948 with the creation of the state railroad corporation Ferrocarrils Argentinos. The Argentinian railway was privatized between 1992 and 1995 with the grant of concessions to different private companies for operating six divisions of the formerly state-owned rail network. Cities such as Buenos Aires, Resistencia and Mendoza offer extensive suburban passenger services, as well as the long-distance passenger lines in the country. An announcement was made in 2006 to develop a 310 km high-speed line between Buenos Aires and Rosario. The project was, however, not implemented as of 2013. A second high-speed line stretching 400 km between Rosario and Cordoba has also been proposed. 29,000 km, the French railway network is the second biggest in Europe and the ninth biggest in the world. The French railway network is predominantly passenger-centric and more than 50% of the country's lines are electrified. State-owned Société Nationale des Chemins de Fer Français SNCF, is the principal railway operator in the country. The country's high-speed long-distance passenger services are known as Train A Grande Vitesse TGV, and the standard long-distance passenger services are branded Intersites. The short- and middle-distance passenger rail services are known as Transport Express Regional Tier. The network offers linkages to adjacent countries such as Belgium, Italy and the UK. France was one of the early adopters of high-speed rail technology. SNCF brought into operation the TGV high-speed rail in 1981. The country's current high-speed network exceeds a length of 1,550 km. The Tours Bordeaux high-speed rail project, which is due for completion in 2017, will add another 302 km into the network. The first railway line in Brazil became operational in 1984. The railway network was nationalized in 1957 with the creation of Reed Ferroviaria Federal Sociedade Anonima RFFSA. The country's railway network was divided into different services to be operated by a range of private and public operators by 2007. The 28,000 km network is predominantly freight-focused and includes major iron ore rail lines. 
The country's passenger rail services are mostly concentrated in urban and suburban areas. Eight Brazilian cities have metro systems, Sao Paulo Metro being the biggest among them. In 2012, the Brazilian government announced the construction of 10,000 kilometers of new lines comprised of freight and high-speed passenger lines by 2042. Hope the video was informative. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for more related videos.